G'day, I'm Jack, and this is not diabetic related vlog. A respective, retrospective vlog about how to choose a dog. That's that's a dog kennel right there. And what we decided to get. where those dogs came from. Okay. Tag five. This vlog is shot in retrospect of how to choose a dog. Or in fact, how we chose the dog that we got. We'll get to that. Choosing a dog is one of the hardest choices in life. Well, let, let me put three phrases. It. It's choosing a dog is a choice you have to live with for life. Years down the track, years out of the family home, now living with Annie, I feel it's time to add a four-legged mate into our home. But how does one choose a dog? Before you do anything, write down the characteristics you would like in a dog. What kind of dog are you looking for? Are you looking for a cute dog to show off? I mean, hopefully no one is, but there are people that do that. Are you looking for a dog to, to take on long walks? Are you looking for a, a lap dog so that that'll cuddle you at night? Are you looking for a dog to protect you, you know, a home security? Or are you looking for a, a good family companion? And Annie and I wrote down some characteristics that we would like in a dog. I would like my dog to be obedient. Um, I'd love to take it running, you know, have fun with it. I think it's important that it's adaptable to our lives. We don't have to bend over backwards for it, but at the same time, sort of like live with us. I'm sure all dogs sort of are. Annie would like a dog that is, can, she can train. Uh, an intelligent dog. Once again, I think it also comes under obedient dog. She also wants a dog that she can, you know, love and cuddle, pat, you know. I think she's really looking for that emotional connection with the dog. So, a couple of things that we don't want in a dog is, we don't want a messy dog that just slobbers everywhere. We are looking for a medium sized dog, preferably one that sheds no fur. Um, I know it's nitpicky, but I mean, you try cleaning your couch, your clothes and your car every two days trying to get the fur out. Little to no shedding. Preferably, I don't even know if a dog exists. So once you have your list of, or your boxes that you gotta check, start the research. Okay, quick Google search of um, how to choose a dog will bring you up with a number of different websites that will have a whole bunch of um, dog breed selector quizzes. Late at night, Annie and I would take these tests and we were getting similar results. We'll, we were actually getting um, some of the qualities that we were looking for. Uh, Labradors, of course, and Retrievers were coming up a lot. Another breed that was popping up was a Border Collie and that one, that one was winning me over. But the downside to Border Collies are they shed a lot of fur and I don't know, I've met a few Border Collies that were just off the rails because no one trained them well enough. And then a breed that I hadn't heard of before. Uh, Brittany. A Brittany Spaniel. So uh, this required further research. Upon further research, you can find out the characteristics of the dog uh, and engage with all these pockets of information. Look, I've done a lot of research on Brittany's. It is the breed we went with. I suggest doing these quizzes. I know they can be a bit tedious and you know, there'll be a lot of questions, but it really help you make a decision because it will narrow down the choice, and trust me, there are a lot of dog breeds. So anyway, we went through this whole process six months ago, and I thought I would share it just, if anyone had that question, how do you select a dog? I've had a lot of people ask me, how did you find out about Britney's? I'm like, well, we did a bit of research, and it just kept popping up. I mean, yes, a few other breeds did pop up, but that, I guess, the intrigue of this dog that we both had never heard of before, really got us over the line. So try and stay open-minded, figure out what you want in a dog first, and then start looking. My last vlog, we were just in Bali. Okay, it's a few months retrospect again. But we literally got back from Bali and then went and picked up our puppy. If you want to see and meet our puppy, 
hit subscribe and I'll uh, put a video up soon. I'm going to be shooting a lot more videos over the summer. Life's bottlenecking right to the end of the year, but I am going to be vlogging a lot more. I'm Jack. I'm a type 1 diabetic. This wasn't a diabetic video. And here's some footage of us going to pick up Ula. Ula.